All right, guys, the Amazon delivery guy just pulled out of my driveway less than five minutes ago and left this for me. I ordered this about a week ago, finally arrived during this corona epidemic. Things are a little bit slower. This is the Trimax Ironclad, $27.99, as I said, off of uh, Amazon. There's several dealers of this. Uh, a lot of you had asked for this, and I think I can understand why. Despite its look, this thing is pretty light. It is one pound, 14 ounces. Uh, 854 grams, so just a shy of uh, just shy of two pounds. Not too bad, given how thick this is. And when I look closely at this guy, inside the inner core of this is a quarter-inch stainless steel cable, and then the secondary core, if you look closely, is a series of linked steel tubes of different diameters, and then on top of that is a stainless steel braided cable. And then on top of that is this clear rubber coat to prevent damage to your bike. So they've done that to keep it light. But when I take a look at this, I think they've also done it to make it difficult to cut through using those three different materials. I'm not counting the rubber. Um, you know, this braided steel cable is notorious for being difficult to cut through with bolt cutters. So if you use bolt cutters, you might be able to squish your way through a lot of it. But that braided steel is just going to kind of squish and then you're going to have to cut that with something else, maybe a, a die grinder or something. Uh, a die grinder would also work, but again, with something this thick, you better bring a really big blade, otherwise it's going to be shattering on you. So a Trimax, has, it appears, put a lot of thought into this. So those of you who recommended this, you were right, I think. Um, on the core itself, you can see we have here the keys, and it is a disc detainer. So there you go. I'm not, I'm not really surprised by that nowadays. You get three keys, and one of them has a little flashlight on it, so pretty cool. Um, yeah, this clamps onto your bike, onto the seat tube, and then you mash the button to slide that out. So it's, it doesn't require belts or Velcro or anything like that to hold this thing onto your bike. So pretty well thought out. Let's take a look at this guy, though. Disc detainer, and when I took a look at this originally, just to make sure my tool would fit, um, this outer disc is not the tensioning disc. That's a spinner. They put a spinner disc on this, which is kind of unusual. Um, and so what I found is you almost have to grind a little bit off or file a little bit to give you a little bit more reach on the tip of your pick to get past that darn spinner disc. So kudos to Trimax for coming up with that way to defeat picker. So let me take this guy and I'm going to rotate all of those discs so that I'll be tensioning right away. Oh, That's pretty tough. I should probably squirt some WD-40 in there. It's a little, grinding away a little bit. Hard to turn, but I think I got it. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, so let's go ahead and line up the tip with the prongs. Hold them in place, and let's see if we can get this guy inserted. Hopefully the arms are oriented correctly. All right. Come on, go on in there. Pretty tight. I'm not sure that's all the way into the bottom, but I'm going to have to take a chance. All right, I'm going to I'm going to hold this like, well, I probably should have cut that off of there. Let me cut that guy off and get him out of our way so I can get a hold of that. And it gives you another look at how this thing is clamped onto the bike. But more importantly, it allows me to hold the lock. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can get a, give you a view of what's going on. Make sure I'm all the way into the rear. Hold on a sec, let me turn off. I had a heater going in the background. Didn't want that sound going. All right, here we go. I'm sure I would hear about it. So I'm backing out and I'm trying to find, there we go, I went too far. So trying to orient the pick tip with the keyway. It got gotten turned a little bit. Well, it was right there. Come on. There we go. I think that's it right there. All right, so I'm on the first disc, or actually last disc. Heavy tension, and let's see if we can get him to bind up and see if we can find a gate on this guy. And nothing. So I'm going to put him back where he was. Move to the next one. And he fell right into a gate. And you can see it's a pretty wide gate. Or it might be a really wide false gate. I really don't know. But let's find out. Let's go to the next one. Nothing, so I'm going to put him back where he belongs. 
And he does kind of click there, and that does also, see how much that line is moving. That feels like a gate as well. I'm going to leave him, move to the next one. And these coincidentally are lining up with the lines. Again, I think that is the gate right there. Next one. I felt a slight turn, but I don't think that one is in the gate. Although there's a gap there. Let's keep going. And I felt more turn on the core. I'm not sure if that's open or if my tip pick slipped. It did. The pick tip slipped out. So I'm going to have to put a little more pressure on it and just keep looking. All right, let's go all the way back in and start from the beginning. I believe that's a gate. That also is a gate. That feels like a gate, and I, th I think it turned, got it open. There we go. So that fourth disc wasn't quite lined up with the gate. So, not bad. I gotta tell you, for $28, given the effort they put into making this cut resistant, which is probably the biggest threat to bicycles, some guy come along and whack in this real quick with, you know, die grinder or bolt cutters, they put a lot of effort into this, and into both keeping it strong and keeping it light at a surprisingly low price of, like, 28 bucks. Anyway, guys, there you go, the Trimax 36-inch ironclad, the model on this, if you're interested in it is looks like uh, TG2236SX. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.